Once you have your version of Clip Studio Paint or Manga Studio in installed, we can open it for the first time. And you'll see something like this. And let's just take a look around and see kind of how things look and how things are set up in uh, the software. I may just call it the software because I don't want, really want to keep saying Clip Studio Paint or Manga Studio. So uh, or I may just use one or the other, but don't worry too much about it. I think you'll know what I'm talking about. So this is your page that you're working on in the center. And to the left and to the right, we have all these uh, windows, as they're called. And these contain the tools that we're going to be using to make our art, pencils, pens, markers, and so on. We have all these um, ways that we can modify those tools. We have color, the way that we can choose our colors down here on the color wheel. We've got our layers over here. And don't worry at this point if you don't understand what these things mean or how uh, if it seems like it's overwhelming. Because I think when you first get started, there's just like buttons and tabs and what does it all do and what does it all mean? And it's very confusing. but don't get overwhelmed by it at this point. Just understand, like, this is where we're going to do our work, and these things are going to let us uh, modify that work. It's pretty simple. And um, like, uh, like most programs, there's these tabs at the top that you can click on that'll let us make other modifications as we go along. I'm going to go over pretty much all the, everything that you can do in as much detail as I can. And, uh, yeah, I think you'll... By the time we're done, you'll have a pretty good grasp, and this won't seem as scary as it, as it does now, I think. Um, one thing that we, uh, we call this our workspace, the way that things are kind of arranged and designed, because everything is pretty much uh, negotiable. We can rearrange stuff all we want. So like anything that like has a tab on the top of it like this can be clicked on and dragged and moved to somewhere more convenient. This will just kind of help us make our workspace a little uh, easier to work with. So if I want it right here, wherever the red lines appear, that's a spot that I could move a window. So if I wanted it right here, for example, I could just put it here and let go, and it moves it. If I wanted to move this over here or down here, there's a red, so I can drop it there. Or if I don't like it there, if I want it in here, I can move it there move it into a tab. So it's really up to you how you want to arrange this. Um, I'm going to generally keep it pretty similar to how it is in the initial the initial startup, just so you're not confused. I do, I will make a few minor changes, but for the most part, this is, I'm going to leave it alone because I don't want you to get lost. And, uh, but just know that you can change these work, this, your workspace. And, uh, once you do change it, it'll keep it like that unless you revert it back. And I'll show you how to change it back in a minute. But uh, so we call this our workspace. If we go to window and click go down to workspace, you have these options to reset to default. Or if you if you like this, you can register your workspace and save it by a name as like you call this um, my workspace or whatever, or whatever the purpose is for this workspace. If this is how you do comics, you may call this your comics workspace and you also have the option to just use these and change these so you can do that if you want um, you can also reset it to default and it'll change it all back so that is this is your workspace and like I said don't worry about all this for now it's gonna all become clear as we go along one other thing if you do move some stuff around and you don't want to revert everything back to the original, what you can do is close this, quit, Monk, quit Clip Studio Paint, and then reopen it. But before you click on the, uh, to open it, hold down the shift key and then click it. Now when it opens, it'll give you an option. It'll say you want to revert these to the initial state and you can select some of them or you could just select all of them and reset it and it'll do the same thing that we did before with resetting all settings and again to do that you just hold down the shift key and then click on 
the button to open Clip Studio Paint. And that is your workspace. Now these windows that are all around the workspace, there are actually more windows than these. You can, if you go up to the window tab, there are the ones that are shown are just the ones with the check marks. So there are all these other ones that if you wanted to have like uh, your history window showing, you can just click on that and it will pop up over here. And uh, if you don't want something to show like the color wheel, if I want to hide that, I just click on it and it'll disappear. And there's all these other color things still showing up though. So that is how you can add or remove windows.